Old Bad by Vapors. We have an Elvis impersonator contest going on. We still have five left to go. We'll be open until 3 o'clock in the morning. So come on out and see us. My name is Danny Yu. Welcome to my Melody Land, reproduction of Graceland. I've been working on it for about a couple of years, and uh, I'm just about almost finished. And uh, it's a tribute to Elvis that I wanted to do, and and uh, I go around the country uh, with a 22-piece orchestra, and we do a tribute to Elvis. And uh, we work all over the country and all over the United States. So I've been wanting to build this house since I was a kid, about 15, 16 years old. When I was about 17, I met Elvis in Las Vegas back in 1973. And I was real excited to get to meet my idol, you know, for the first time. And uh, we rolled around and talked around a little bit, and I told him, uh, Elvis, I want to build Graceland one day, and I told him one day I'll make my dream come true. Well, as you can see, this is the inside. This is the entry hall. And uh, just like Elvis had an entry hall like that, and uh, this took me a long time to get it down right. And this is all marble up here. This is all marble, and that's, that's why it took me so long, because uh, everything had to be special ordered. And the glass up here is all stained glass, music notes and things like that, and it took a lot of pride in doing this. Over here it says Melody Land, ML, Melody Land. But all the press calls it California Graceland. And this is the stairs like Elvis had. He had the bedroom upstairs and stuff like that. And so it's just pretty, it's 8,000 square feet house. So uh, pretty big. And this is that big chandelier like Elvis had. Elvis had a big chandelier like that, that he really enjoyed, I heard. That's what he says. And this is the ballroom that we're having up here. And I'm having a big dome here like they have in Las Vegas. A glass dome is going to be a chandelier in there. And they're going to have a, a grand piano here big white grand piano, like Elvis had. And this is a master bedroom that we have here, and this is just like Elvis's room he had. He had the windows like that. All the Elvis fans know that uh, Elvis used to cover them with some aluminum foil, because he didn't like the sun coming in. So uh, that's the way he liked it, because he didn't like the sun. Let me show you the master bathroom here. It's all made out of marble. It's all, this is all marble from Italy. And I imported it from Italy. And the jacuzzi is a seven foot jacuzzi here. And got a his and hers sink here. And uh, these are all 24 karat gold. This came from France. All 24 karat gold and stuff like that. And the showers, they came from Italy. So the twin showers, stuff like that, and the marble. And, I also have a skylight up here. There's going to be a big chandelier in there. And you might get a kick out of this. They have some, uh, the bathrooms are made out of lion's heads. They're all lion's head from France. So we're trying to get as close as possible. And, but I'm having a good time doing it. And so I hope if you guys come down to uh, the United States here, we'll drop by and see uh, Melody Land. Doors open anytime.
we're now in the front room of uh, the world's number one Elvis fan. And what we're trying to accomplish here is uh, trying to duplicate Elvis's Graceland Mansion as closely as we can. In this room here, we have uh, we keep the write-ups to his movies, who wrote stories on him after he did them, for all the publicity. And uh, I'll let my son Elvis tell you the rest. Well, as my dad said, we are standing in the front room of the world's number one Elvis fans to our standard. We hope to accomplish this by the material, the memorabilia that we have collected throughout the years and will continue to collect. If Elvis is not dead in our minds, he continues to live on forever in our hearts. has always been interested in psychic phenomena.